I never knew this crazy waterfall was sitting here either. He's in there. He must have gone after that. No, he's over there. He's in the creek. Oh, he's going back. The fox. He's oh, yeah. Like you. Oh, there's another one. There's two. Got like a black tail. Mm -hmm. They are on the hunt right now. Sure are. They're There's two of them. Look. Looking for something. Two foxes. I think they saw that rabbit thing that you saw. Yeah, I saw a rabbit like dash across the yard. So the Daniel and foxes run around the yard. Fox one, fox two are their names right now. Also got a report that there's a bobcat in the neighborhood. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's more than one. Anyway, the point is there's a lot of critters running around here. I'm still trying to catch that daggum skunk or armadillo, whatever it is out here. If y'all aren't familiar with the Lake Life Family Channel, you can go over there and follow it where we have all sorts of adventures around the house. I saw some comments on the Lake Life Family Channel that some of y'all have been here and never even heard of it. So anyway, if you haven't checked it out, go over there and check it out. Today I gotta go see a buddy of mine. Best friend Craig has had a baby. So I wanna get over there and go see him. And I know there's a lot of ponds over there. And I'm gonna use this app that me and the Googan Squad use down at iCast that helps you find ponds and different fishing holes. And I was actually pretty shocked when I got on it this morning to see what was in my local area. I saw a ton of stuff down in Florida and I was figuring, yeah, there's gotta be a ton of people using it down here because there's ponds and little drains everywhere. If you've never been to an area or you're just getting into fishing, you're like, man, I need some, I need some little honey helps. Where are they at? There's actually people that post lots of pictures of their fish that they're catching in areas and kind of describe what they're doing. So it just kind of helps you discover the little honey holes and maybe some secret areas that you didn't know about or they're not really secrets. I mean, once you post, it's like sharing the, to the world where you caught fish, but there's a big community that's on Fish Brain that shared all this info so it can help you catch fish if you're unfamiliar with the territory. So they're a sponsor of this video today, but instead of just kind of telling you about it, I thought I'd actually put it to use because I actually do need to use it to find some places and I've already found some cool looking spots. So we're gonna load up the gear, we're gonna get in the truck and we are heading out into the hottest day of the year, 106, y'all. It's gonna be important to stay cool out there. The goal for today is to kind of find some places that are decent and then show you guys how I would catch fish when it's hot as Hades out there in these ponds, cause heat ain't gonna stop us fishing freaks. I ain't scared, dog days of July and August is when I was born. That's how I learned to fish. Let's load up some rods and get after it. You know, I'm going after bass today, so looking for those areas where I can hop around and change spots quite a bit. Just jumping around in the truck, and uh, I think I got a good little spot figured out. So hopefully there's no danger noodles down there, and we're gonna be able to find some shade and catch a fish. Just realized how strong that stash is today. Mm. Hopefully it'll connect to a fish's face at some point today. Give it a little bass to stash tickle. You know what I mean? I mean I am going to just suffer out here today. Let's throw the hood up. Let's go assassin some bass. Normally I'm wearing jeans and boots for this type of thing, but it's just too much of a scorcher. I don't want to sweat my Wranglers. This area probably sees a lot of spinner baits, but we'll start off with one. There are some serious logs right here. Okay, it's no go with the spinner bait. There we go, one of the these bad boys on here. And you know when you see corks hanging from trees, you've got a lot of people fishing in that area. That is home. That is probably not coming out, folks. Cut our losses here with that one. There we go. Not starting out on a fantastic note here. That is just a deadly looking little lure there. My hope is it looks like something that's coming out of these trees. Oh, there's a fish. Nope, that is not a fish. That is probably fishing line. And uh, yeah, I think I'm done with this spot. Oh yeah, this is a tasty one here. That's the last time you balanced a log over a creek like this. All right, there for sure has to be fish here. I did not know that was on the other side. A little eddy that comes through. I mean, that is strong. Holy crap. Big time eddy. 
dangle my cricket over here. Get a bite. Y'all, so look at the life jackets up in the trees. That's where the water was. We're gonna call this one done. That is looking a little rough. H2O Expressor, that one's seen better days. Hopefully that wasn't one of y'all's. Standing here at the little boat ramp deal looking at this sign. It says kayaking trails. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not a good deal if I uh, see a channel catfish, smallmouth buffalo, long nose gar, fish species. No bass. One pound, no scale. That's a catfish. So there's a perfect example. There's a fish caught in this area and it's not a bass. So it looked good visually, but it's just not the deal. Now here is a park. That is a bass, okay. Lots of bass over here. So I need to figure out how to get over here. It looks like it's a park area, so I'll have access to it. A new hole has been discovered. I like it. It looks like a very natural pond, but I did see bait fish activity around the bank. I'm gonna start off with a little weightless wacky and then make an adjustment if necessary. Look at that cypress tree. There's got to be one under there. You get just globs of that. Not a good spot for wacky, but we're gonna keep it going for just a second. So many goose turds. You gotta really watch your step here. Massive amount of goose turds. You ever been so hot you just feel your brain sweating? That's kind of how I feel right now. I think I'm just gonna speed down this bank with the swim bait. Seems like a logical thing to do. If nothing attacks, then I'm moving on. I really felt like I gave it a thorough dangle right there. If I was a bass in that pond, I'd probably be out in the middle. All the grass is, or all the pond weed scum stuff is choking the edges. And there's little bait fish, little tiny bass. I didn't see any good sized ones. I think I'm gonna have to go dangle my cricket somewhere else. I'll tell you what guys, I've had better ideas in my life. This is a toasty one. So I was gonna go back there, but I discovered that's actually a pistol range. That's where those gunshots are coming from. Probably not a good idea. Fish around the backside of a pistol range. And I just got a call from OSG. We're gonna go visit uh, my buddy's little baby. But I remembered there is a pond over there. I might just be going to visit that one. But at this point, the water is basically boiling. I am really hot, a little bit dizzy, dehydrated. I need to get inside in some AC. Just went and saw that precious little baby. It literally feels like someone turned a blow dryer on and just dangling it in my face. Oh, oh, yes. Just had a swirler. Ooh, you know what else I just found? A crawfish pincher leg, tiny one. Let's see if we can get one in the shade. Oh, there's a bite. He's got it. I've got it. There's a bass. Looks a little skinny. Quickly return him. He's got a little bit of an eye issue as well. There's a tiny bass. Watch him. Boom. Grabbed it. Got him. Oh, buddy. You need to grow. So aggressive. That, that is the rope. Dangerous move time. Oh boy, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. That really sucks. I lost my leader, everything. That battery keeps overheating on my GoPro. It's that hot. I can't even, oh my gosh, he smacked it. Wow. Only little spot with shade. He's trying to get out of the heat. I don't blame you, buddy. That was a hard hit. We'll take a little pick of this guy. That's a beautiful photo. One of my finer ones, probably. Still got our little drag and drop worm on there. Spade is, it's just gnarly. It's gnarly for finesse fishing. This is the type of shade where there's probably gonna be quite a few bluegill down there. And there's one little spot of shade this whole entire pond. There's another guy, got him. 
big bluegill. Monster bluegill. I mean, I, that's a waller. I would have liked to have that one on the wall. A true bluegill, and it was wide. My buddy said there's giants in here. I do not doubt it. Got to be one here in front of this thing. Oh, little guy wanting to attack. Not sure. Some little doobies in there. I mean, there are bass like right underneath this algae. Desperate for shade. They're probably in six inches of water. Ooh, there's two right here, and they are these pieces. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's got it. Got him. You are not the one I was looking for. Can you give you a little help, buddy? You're gonna dry out like a sock in the dryer. Oh, there's one. The little buddy. These are micro bass. Jeez. Guys need some serious protein. Sometimes what happens is the big ones get the bit, the best pieces of cover. They just drive those little ones out. I can see three bass on this one tree. Ooh, ooh, we got it. Oh man, I watched him strike it. That was cool. There's hardly any cover, so when that there is something, they are on it. Let's see if he'll come back again. Oh, we got it. Got him. <laughs> oh, I love it when you can see him right in the top of the mouth. That's perfect. Perfect. So if I was a betting man, I would say the corner to my left, it's got some cover in it. It's probably going to have one. I've been working my tail off today trying to get, just get a bite. So finally found something. Another thing that's good to do in a little clear pond like this is walk high. Walk elevated if you can. You can see them much farther away. Always want to try to make as far a cast as you can. I see one cruising the shallows right now. Got to be one on this pipe. I see a big pipe in the water. It's just no question. Oh, he's got it. Got him. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, yes. Better fish. Slurped it. There we go. Well, that's a good day ender right there. Actually got a little pull on that. That guy. Nice. He had it too. Man, you should be a lot bigger, buddy. You should honestly be a three pounder. Fishing this totally weightless, by the way, guys. Just on a little one up finesse hook. Look how big his mouth is. Look how small the body is. The fish should be three pounds. Instead, he's a two. Good old summer bass though. Nothing like the smell of a summer bass, fresh cut grass, and maybe the raw hide of a baseball glove. Those are some good memories for me. Oh, there's another one. Got him. They like the pipe. A lot of these fountain ponds, you'll see uh, pipes and ropes coming out, and they will definitely sit on those. If there's not much to get on, Oh, there's one more tree I gotta throw at, jeez. Jeez. Okay. So now I feel comfortable going close to this pipe because I've already fished it. I've already done my damage. There's another one. I mean, you just knew there was gonna be one in the corner, didn't we? We knew that, we talked about it. Only spot with some direct cover. That was a direct slurp. As soon as I hit the water, he got it. You'll see that happen a lot too. Uh, when you're fishing around trees <laughs> See there was a bass that just jumped up and got something there, but bugs fall out of those trees all the time And the fish are ready Okay, we're gonna throw it one little stick up here. And then we are done. My GoPros are gonna overheat. I'm gonna overheat It is time to go in. It's the hottest part of the day There it is Shake it a couple times Wait for the inhale. There he is. Got him. Had to shake that one a little bit more to get him. Hey, buddy, I enjoyed your fight. Even though you're small, I still love you. I'm going to give you a sniff. Vertical sniff for the FS. Hit the like button for it. And we will return you to the blue depths.
of toilet bowl water. So if any of y'all wondered why water's blue like that in some of the ponds, they put copper sulfate in there and I just spotted a dandy as I'm walking out. Copper sulfate has a bluish green color. This is why I was telling you guys to make sure to go high because Oh, he's getting eaten. Got him. Got him at the surface. Had to do it. Had to do it. Had a good visual. That's a better one to end on anyways. Yes. Yes, you are. And there we go. A little sight fishing in the day on a D's piece. That one's actually, uh, even though he's kind of skinny, he's got a big back on him. Not bad for a summer fish. So. Lost, my, lost my worm. I'm out. See you. Have a good summer day, my friend. I like to end like that. I lost my drag and drop, but I'm going to put my bear hook on my hook keeper. And we are done. Whew. I call that a win after this morning. Man, does it feel good to be back in the air conditioning, y'all. Hottest part of the day right now. 107. So I did go out there on the hottest day of the year so far. But if you're a brave soul and you want to get out there in the heat of the day, try to find those little shaded areas. That is so key. If you're fishing shallow ponds, creeks, go to the right to the edge where that shade is, and there's almost always going to be bluegill in there. That in turn brings in largemouth bass. There's a lot of bugs in the summertime that fall in the water. So having a little frog, a weightless bait like I was using today, I'll show you all that right. Now, here is the Guggen Baits drag and drop, a finesse worm. This baby is designed really for drop shotting, finesse fishing essentially. But let me tell you, this thing on a wacky rig, just rig it through the back, through the back skin, and throw it on a little one, two watt finesse hook. It is beautiful. It just looks like a little bug that's fallen into water, a little grub worm or something like that. So if you're having a tough time, you could take a spinning rod like I have right here, use that to skip up under those areas and it helps just because this is a light bait and cast it a long ways. 20 pound braid, 10 pound fluorocarbon. Actually, I was using 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon today, but you could definitely use 10. That's a good setup. Uni to uni splice knot to connect those two, about four or five foot a liter. This rod, by the way, is a medium. It's got a fast tip on it. This is the favorite jackhammer. It's a really nice finesse fishing rod, so it makes it super easy to whip it out there and fill the bike. And today's video was all about finding new areas using some of this app technology. So I want to thank Fish Brain for sponsoring this video. And if you want to use that technology to connect with other anglers, see where other people are catching fish by you, I think you'd be surprised how many people are actually using the app and posting pictures. Go ahead and give it a download. The link is in the description. You can use the free version or you can upgrade to the other version that's got more gadgets and doodads. So thanks for following along today, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know and I'll find creeks and ponds and do a little exploration. Kind of got me thinking about doing a little kayak exploration today. And I've also got some multi-species videos coming up for you guys that a lot of you have asked for. So stay tuned, hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications. Thank you guys for being here. I love you and I'll see you on the next one.